So over the last several months, I've been doing a lot of training and uh, I've been getting a lot of consistent questions. And some of the things that I'm going to talk about in the next several videos are related to that training and some of the design work that I've done with people looking over my shoulders. Now, I'm in 2406 because this sort of has everything compiled and um, put into nice little places. A lot of the things that I'm going to show you have been there for a little while. But um, for, for me now, the, the way that everything's laid out just makes sense. So one of the things was looking through the part. Um, as you can see, I've got a curve here, this is an intersection curve. This is a keep out zone. And uh, these are some surfaces that we needed to make a clearance to and so on and so forth. And uh, one of the things was, well, I, I want to see what's going on at the center and I don't want to turn off my surface, etc. So uh, when I go into the render display over here, go into more, I have these toggles. Okay. Now it's been quite a while that I've been able to show stuff through like like show through for points show through for curves is um, newer and then obviously the show through for CSIS has been there for quite a while but now they're toggles that I can easily turn on so when I turn those on you'll notice the CSIS is shown through the points as well as the curve and I do use this actually now that I'm in 2406 quite a lot this is very nice because it allows me to get a, a good indication of where something is located uh, with the display on like this without having to go into a wireframe mode or partially shaded or anything like that. So um, I do like those see-through options quite a lot. Now something else that's been introduced, um, a friend of mine put together a macro and that macro was basically brought in to NX as a new tool. Now, the to see the new tool, uh, you got to go under preferences, and you got to go under modeling, and under update, dynamic mode update. You can do incremental, continuous, whichever one you want. This is a small part, so the updates happen quick. So I'm just going to continuous. I'm going to say all levels make sure these are turned on. The reason why this is nice is because this now allows me to go in, okay, I'm gonna pick this plane. This, my color scheme is I use a dashed font like that for driving elements and uh, turn them yellow. That's just what I do, I've been doing it for decades. Now, when I go in here, you notice there's a value. I'm gonna right mouse click on that value and I'm gonna go into step expression. So this was introduced as a tool here in 2406, and I can definitely see this growing and doing a lot, being things being done to it a lot more than what it currently does. It's a great tool. So if I go into step expression, what this brings up is this little menu. And there are lots of options in here. So um, the expression that I'm modifying is this guy. I can come in here and say, all right, well, I want this to be, let's say, 85 mils. If I hit enter, you'll note that it goes up to 85 mils. I've offset that plane 85, which changes this point, which changes the curve, which changes the shape. Or I can come in here and put in a value. Let's say I want to step this every two millimeters. Type in two, and now I have this slider. With the slider, I can go back and forth. So basically, it's almost like a kinematic style thing for your model watching it continuously update so rather than clicking on a value changing it entering it so on and so forth this allows you to go through and make those changes and be very finite with it so let's say i'm very very close to this distance that i want right over here i can come over here and say well you know what i'm going to start changing this at uh, 0.25 increments so i type that in and I can start dragging this down and really get this right where I want it to be. Okay. Now, that was a distance. I have a section surface over here which has a row value. If I right mouse click on the row value, I can go step expression. And I can do the same thing with a row value. Now, what's my jump? I'm going to say 0.05. And now this allows me to, once again, 
update that row value until I get to, okay, that's, let's go point oh two five and then now rather than using the slider i can start playing around with the plus minus to really nail this down okay maybe i want to get this point zero one and start again messing with it just ever so slightly let me go up a little bit and one more okay that's about as close as i'm going to get to my keep out zone making those modifications like that nice and quickly now if you have a large model that takes time to update with those increments what you can do is under preferences modeling let me bring this back over here what you can do is uh, change this from continuous to incremental and play around with what level I have everything updating and I can say well I just want the first level to update now in this case you're not going to see much just pick my datum plane right mouse click step now you'll notice it does a rollback okay because now I'm saying update only the first level so this is going to roll back to that first level so if I start messing with this the moment I release it is when the update happens. It's not a continuous update, whereas before as I was sliding it, you'd see it dynamically update and move. Whereas now, I can slide it, release it, then the update happens. And it's, again, only the first level. So if you have a large model, maybe you want only that first level to update. And then when you get it to right where you want it to be, you know what, I gotta bring this up a little bit more. There we go. Select OK. The moment you select OK, everything from that point then updates and comes back. Just like if you're doing a standard edit with a rollback, you double click on something and it rolls back. Uh, but this gives you that first level of update to those, to those features. So um, these little enhancements, I think, are, I know, are really useful. Like I said, I've been uh, using them now. I've been in 2406 since it was released, playing around with these things and uh, there's a lot more little things I'll, I'll be posting quite a few videos about that here in the coming months but um bravo love them keep them coming siemens thank you